Cancer is death, equals death. That's how you see it. When you first hear that, you're, that you have the illness, the first moment is a horrible shock. And it's like a kick in the stomach. You wonder when, how soon you're going to die. And you're convinced that it's going to be sooner than later. That was how it was with me. That was six and a half years ago. My name's Susan Schwartz. It changed to Schwartz 42 years ago when I married. I live a little east of Natania, the grandmother of three grandsons. I'm very happy. I read, I paint rather amateurishly, but once I get started, I enjoy it very much. In 2006, I did a mammogram and an ultrasound and they discovered a lump. I got the answer, the unfortunate answer. Metastatic breast cancer. She took it bravely, still does. <clears throat> and uh, we live with it. It seemed to me a very technical problem. I needed to get the best treatment possible. Chemo, an operation, radiotherapy and nothing more. I was not aware how much a person with a serious illness needs emotional support from the technical staff. The department at Lanyado is so intimate, they are on the ball and aware of what is happening at any given moment to any patient. It's a very, very warm place to come to. It's not just a matter of giving me the infusion, it's a matter of connecting with me. Ziva, the head nurse there, I have never seen her in a bad mood. She is always prepared to listen and give advice and help. Ida, her assistant nurse, an absolute rock. Esther, the secretary, you just call her. You need something, I'll handle it. I don't feel that I have a disease. I feel that I am a person with a problem that is being taken care of by top-class personnel, and I'm always greeted with smiles and a hug. They make me feel like a member of their family. I so love this lady. Susan touched my soul. I know that this is my purpose in my life. I love people, and I want to do for them the best that I can. They do not treat you, they take care of you. I just find it very comfortable going to Laniado and very unhospital-like. I feel like I'm coming to meet friends when I come for my treatments rather than just coming to an impersonal hospital. The strength of will to live is with me. It's with my husband, with my family. But Laniado, they support my sense of will to live. We really are a team working together to keep Susan up on her feet for as long as possible. <laughs> a longer life. Saving a life is like bringing a life into the world. It's like being reborn. I think there is no higher value in life than to love another person. Up to 2005, the Natania area suffered some 22 blasts. And unfortunately, we had a lot of experience. We got our system and our act together very fast. When you open the doors of the ambulance, it could be your child, or it could be your neighbor, or it could be your husband, or it could be somebody that you know. There are victims that stand out and that you will never forget. I remember a little girl that was injured in her face, that was burned on her back. I remember her quite clearly. I am a chabel, she is a chabel, she is a chabel, she is a chabel, she is a לא ידעתי מה קרה. באותו רגע שזה קרה, פיגוע, לא הרגשתי כאב, רק פחד. הכל למטה היה, כל הגג, הכל עפו. 
היה זעזוע. ואז גיסי תפס אותי, עלינו על מונית, הגענו לבית חולים והודענו להורים שלי. אני יושב בבית עם האישה ולפתע אנחנו מקבלים טלפון. לא עיקנו, לא מבין מה אומרים לי. ולא נותר לנו אלא לרוץ ולראות מה קורה בבית חולים. ראיתי את הילדה ממש, אי אפשר להכיר אותה. השערות שלה שרופות, הפנים שלה כולם פגועות מרסיסים. We take care of uh, children's emotional as well as physical pain as quickly as possible. When a child comes our way into the emergency room, we have a system where the child gets a mother, a surrogate mother, and she says to the child, I will be with you, I will stay with you, I will not leave you. So if you can minimize their memory of the chaos within the hospital, then you already take care of the soul of that child. Dr. Sharon Tiplabi. She was very frightened and she cried. I talk to her, I say to her, beautiful child, it's nothing, and she will be nice and she will be good. And I came to her to the doctor, to make her do the things, of course. And I felt like every time she came to me, I felt like a girl in my heart. And I was with her for a week. I was in my hand in my hand. אחרי הפיגוע ושהכל עבר וזה, עדיין נשארו לי הפחדים. לא הייתי הולכת הרבה בכלל לבית ספר או לגן. תמיד הייתי חושבת על זה. היום כבר זה קצת יותר טוב, אבל עדיין לא יוצאת כל כך. אני לא נכנסת לשוק. Post-traumatic stress syndrome is not something that you know really. You can close the door on. It's something that lives with you. But physically she's fine. And God willing, We were part of that, and thank God that we're here for her and for others. Laniado is a different place because it's big enough to support us and support, I know, a lot of people, and it's small enough to be human. My name is Sharon Block. I live in Atanya, and my son is Nadav. My name's David Block, and I'm the father of Nadav. I was very excited to be pregnant. When Sharon was pregnant, um, I felt great. Every day was so exciting. I had a very good pregnancy, no problem whatsoever. I gave birth in Lyon in France because my husband works with his parents there and everything went well. Uh, it was less than 20 minutes I gave birth. When I saw the baby boy, I was overwhelmed. That's what life is about. We decided to do the Brit Mila in my parents-in-law home. Everything happened well. The Brit went through very smoothly. He didn't cry, and he was even smiling. And then uh, Sharon took him up to his room. And uh, then going back up, I thought something went wrong with the Brit. His diaper was red. Half the quantity of the blood of, was in his diaper. It was unreal. He was whiter than the wall. Took the car. went straight to the hospital. I felt like I'm going to lose my son. He was in the uh, intensive care unit for a few days. They didn't really explain much. Just in the beginning, they just said, um, your son has hemophilia, and I didn't even know what it was. And I said, I have to stop crying because I have to be strong for Nadav. We had time to prepare our return to Israel, so we got in touch with Laniado. They coordinate everything nicely, and the return was actually very smooth. I would say a happy beginning. A lot of things were also a lot clearer when we came to Laniado. His disease, it's called hemophilia A. It's a disease that causes bleeding without stop. Dr. Sharon, she's an amazing doctor. The way she received us, the way she explained what Nadav had went through in France. She explained to us what needs to be done with Nadav. The nurse, Yafit, was next to me all the time and explained to me, this is the order, this is what you have to do. They got us through everything. It's not just like a hospital. We feel like it's a family. They're friends, and they're very, very professional. Whatever they do, we trust them. First of all, I look at him as a patient, but this child especially entered to my heart. 
we have a relationship with the parents, it's not only medical. He has a normal life like every other child. He's just a little bit more fragile. He gets hematomas, a bruise, but in, in children as hemophilia, it just grows. And if you don't catch it on time, don't give him the injection, it kind of paralyzes your body to some point. Just by sitting on something hard, he can get injured. Then we go to Lignado, and he gets his shot, and then it goes away. The parents of Nadav, they are very special. They protect him very much. We padded his room. I built the whole furniture structure, and I did the padding so he can play freely and, and without thinking about getting injured. Dr. Sharon explained to us that he has to have knee pads, and he has to have a helmet for his head, and we named it the champion helmet because he's really a champ. The disease, you live with it. You have to be normal, but of course you have to be aware. He knows how to protect himself, and he knows that if he falls down, it's okay. Nadav loves sports. He loves golf and skiing. I don't want to make him a racer. I just want him to enjoy it. There's some magical powers in the hospital. As soon as you get in there, you have this energy. I thank God every day for these doctors and nurses. When we're in need, they're there for us. The caring that they give to us and the caring that they give and the love and the warmth towards Nadav. There's no price on this.